that's about the appropriate reaction on the PTS forum right now. But it's all good because they buffed my Argonian. Like I I can finally stand in lava and it doesn't it doesn't do damage. It's it's time to reroll Argonians boys, I'm telling you. Now in this video I just wanna talk about like combat and gameplay in general I will do a separate video on housing once the PTS is up so let's just get started basically they nerfed a lot of stuff did they nerf the right stuff no they did not and they buffed some weird stuff which they shouldn't have and the main issues remain especially in PvP the overall damage output in PvE is nerfed I will show you that in a second then the only class that really got buffs is Magic DK and all others just got nerfed. Like even classes that nobody really plays got kept like being nerfed and I don't understand. Anyway, now AV caps got slightly changed. It's now better for small groups but they still should just remove those. Then here this they said they fixed the stock in combat bug now they say you only could be stuck in combat for 30 seconds i have definitely been stuck in combat for four minutes standing in a keep doing nothing so i'm pretty sure it's not fixed but that's just me then the next thing that's weird like this just <laughs> reminded me of the animation issues that are here like sometimes when you perform like abilities too fast they get stuck and they like three four attacks shoot off at once that's because all those little whiny people let's just call them people the qq about the animation cancelling which is just a learn to play issue in my opinion but it's all good that's why we have those weird and kind of clunky animations and i really don't know why they don't change it but whatever then they added some new like buffs like minor magic steel gives you four on magic every second this will apply to elemental drain and siphoning spirit so one of those skills is completely useless now and which means less sustain in pve and also in pvp but shuffle got small like nerfed slightly then major force they changed it a little bit they said it's not nerfed but i don't believe them i need to test it then they have a lot more or less. Now, Dragonite is kind of the only class that got slightly buffed. First, if you look at it, it doesn't really look like it, but it is. Lava Whip, 5% more damage. Then, they nerfed the standard of might a little bit. Like, instead of 20, you only do 15% more damage now. Now, this is a small nerf, but you will see destruction stuff. You get 8% more damage if you slot something. Now, let's get to that later. Then the dragon blood change. So the more magic you're missing, the stronger your heal gets. So that's really weird because you're kind of pu punishing people that have good resource management, I guess. And dragon blood can now crit, so that's something. Then Farish's leap, they change this. Still, nobody's gonna fucking use this because death rule is too strong. But that's all good. Then some minor changes. Nobody really cares about night blade. No buffs, definitely deserves some buffs, at least Magic and Nightblade. And Stamblade, no nerfs, which I really don't understand, they're still too strong. Now, they increase the cost of Strife a little bit, which I, I really don't know why, but whatever. <laughs> Same with Sorks, small, like, it's weird, they buffed pets, but, like, it's just really, really weird. Then, same thing with the curse here. This morph no longer shortens the duration of the curse to 3.5 seconds from 6 seconds. Instead, it causes the curse to echo and trigger. Yeah, Sanima has definitely triggered a lot of people. One additional time, 6 seconds after the first explosion. So, it explodes at 3.5 seconds and 6 again? Maybe? I have no clue how to read that, but... So it's fine. Then, Stem Sorg nerfed at least the Hurricane. Instead of 15, you only do 10% now, and the last hit only does like 150. Used to be 225. Then, Templars. This is also pissing me off a little bit because Stemplars in PvE 
completely useless. Stamplars in PvP. Probably one of the worst stem setups because their passives are all useless, okay? Like literally effing useless. Now not all gonna agree but whatever. Then they change some stuff. Blazing spear. Now eight seconds instead of six seconds, so PvE buff and the nerf for PvP because it no longer stuns and it's gonna impact faster. Then total dark now you can place it on unlimited amount of targets. Have fun. Now Jesus Beam Nerf. Highly nerfed in PvE, so Templars will do less damage. Still gonna be too strong in PvP, so PvP issue still remains and in PvE it's gonna be weaker, like like whatever. I don't know why. Then healing, lingering literal, nerf those two skills. No I I don't know a single person that is using those skills, but they keep nerfing it, like I don't even know why. Now something else restoring aura so this is also like i think my, fa my my grandmother could balance the game better than those dudes there i swear okay now this is where it gets interesting activating this ability also now applies minor magic steel to all enemies in a 12 meter radius minor magic steel 400 magicka per damage you do and it has a 28 meters radius now, apparently, if I do understand that R correctly. So, bomb plars basically just got buffed. They can, like, if they have like 10 targets on them, they pop this skill once. All enemies have ma magicka steel, so every time they hit the enemy, 400 magicka back. <laughs> That's a lot. At least I think so. If it doesn't have a cooldown, it's just like, oh, it's so stupid. You will even see more of those 80k bomblars. But that's okay, okay. Then no, nothing really interesting here. Now here, bow is really weird, Hawkeye. So basically you could stack it up to three times on live server now. And now you can, st like on PTS, you will be able to stack it up to five times. So you will be able to do 25% overall more damage on your bow abilities when you do light attack weaving in between. Now this is weird, I don't know why they buffed this, probably to make bow builds in PvE more viable. Guess what, they're still not, but good try. And it's just gonna be more annoying PvP to deal with the higher damage. Now, Destro ulti, reduce the damage for this ability and it's more by 5%. Like, just no, I, I don't even know, like, I don't get it. The problem with this ult is the radius is too big. And you cannot block the damage. So how the fuck should 5% damage reduction help? I don't know. Let me ask my goldfish. But sadly that dude only has a memory of 5 seconds so he keep... Oh wait. Now I know why the game is not being fixed. Okay, so now you see Elemental Drain it just gets the minor magic steal. So this got nerfed. Elemental Ring, so that's where it gets really interesting. <laughs> and I'm still laughing my ass off. Now, this morph no longer adds small damage over time to the ability. Instead, it allows you to cast the ability at the ground targeted location. Like, like eruption. Like, how is it gonna look? It's gonna be interesting to see. Now, try focus. So... This passive ability now taunts the enemy after you use a fully charged frost heavy attack. Like, what the hell, dude? So I can use tremor scale on frost builds now. I like frost builds. I guess all I'm doing next patch is frost builds. And that's not even all in a second. This passive ability now causes your block to drain magicka instead of stamina. And stops your magic recovery. While blocking when you have a frost destruction stuff equipped. So basically you can tank with a frost stuff now. <clears throat> but 
That's that's not all. That's not all. Let's go on here. Frost staves increases the amount of damage you block by 20% and reduces the cost of block by 30%. So you basically get the same block cost reduction like sword and board. Totally makes sense because uh, frost stuff definitely provides the same protection as a shield. Like how did all the other games get that wrong? I really don't understand. Now here, flame staves increases your single target damage dealt by eight percent. That's nice. Now the other other thing is like decreases the cast time of this heavy attacks. It doesn't do that anymore, and now it grants you a bonus as long as you have one destruction stuff ability slotted. So you need to have ability slotted to get those po bonuses. If you don't, you don't get the bonuses. So we will probably see like flame clench getting into people's rotation or something like that. No, we actually all have the wall of fire. But you probably need to slot them on both bars. But that's why I say magic ADK is gonna benefit the most from this. And then you have some other shit, soul magic still not nerfed like... Like why dude? I can get the 200k tooltip on this dude and I, I will make a troll build next patch just to fucking troll people it's it's it, I'm gonna have fun vampires this is a funny change clouding swarms this morph no longer causes your character to pulse invisibility which never worked anyway every second it is active instead activating the swarm now allows you to use the ability again to instantly teleport into a loading screen oh no way to an enemy up to 22 meters away and deal high damage I already know it's not working because it's gonna be working like a gap closer and they definitely fucked something up up but let's see and what does high damage mean then werewolf changes nothing they werewolf got nerfed so hard from the animation cancelling changes like it lost like 50% overall DPS Rearming threat nerfed, rest in pepperoni. Well, it's still strong, I just, it's just nerfed. Then they buffed the fire rune a little bit, together with scalding rune morph. It's still not enough, I think. And that's, like, basically it. So, <laughs> overall damage in PvE is gonna be lower. I actually like that because I think damage was just over the top. But now it's probably around the, around the appropriate level. PvP, all issues remain. I will probably just do another video on that, just to talk about those. And now, like, as you know, they have... Okay, here it is. Item set procs, which deal damage or healing can no longer critical strike. So that shit, like all the proc sets, damage proc sets cannot crit anymore. So, huge nerf in PvE, which I don't really mind, but it's still stupid. They just should have reduced the damage on all the sets. And no use in PvP, because you still can stack two or three proc sets. Then no other significant nerfs at all. So, we will see. It's, it, nothing is going to change, basically. Uh, oh, well, we will see a lot of Frost build tanks and a lot of annoying builds in pvp but let's just see where that goes and we of course also have to find 50 percent of the other patch notes which are not not documented here so once we can log in let's see what's going on anyway i don't want to make the video longer what do you think well i already know what you think whatever let's just stop and get on to pts cheers